Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to Evening Devotion. I am on the road again. I had to make a run to the store. Tax-free weekend. I am trying to stay away from them, so I ran in, grabbed what I needed, ran out. <laughs> as fast as I possibly can. So I figured since we were close enough, I'd pull off on the side of the road and film the video. I actually like filming it up here because it's just me. Just me and it's quiet. I don't have to worry about anything. I don't have to worry about being interrupted, which happens a lot at my house. That's why I don't film in the other room. Anyway, we are going to be reading. Oh, have you guys seen everything that's going on over in Israel right now? Wow. It is a full-on attack. And there were there's reports coming out now. They think they've gotten all of the top um, all of the top leaders in Gaza for that organization. Yeah. Very interesting. And it's all part of what's coming. It's all part of the setup for the tribulation and everything that's going to happen during that time frame and all the people that are going to be involved in it guys we're watching prophecy being fulfilled before our very eyes and it is a privilege to be able to see these things because most of the world doesn't know they are they are blissfully unaware of what's happening right around them so tonight we're going to be reading out of psalm 72 19 let the whole earth be filled with his glory amen and amen let us go to the verse because the whole verse says and blessed be his glorious name forever let the whole earth be filled with his glory amen and amen when the whole earth is filled with the glory of god with jesus christ there won't be any more stuff like what's happening right now it'll all be over with one two three four five uh let's see We're going to start in verse 12. For he will deliver the needy when he cries, the poor also, and him who has no helper. He will spare the poor and needy and will save the souls of the needy. He will redeem their life from oppression and violence, and precious shall be their blood in his sight. And he shall live, and the gold of Sheba will be given to him. Prayer also will be made for him continually, and daily he shall be praised. There will be an abundance of grain in the earth, on top of the mountains. Its fruit shall wave like Lebanon, and those of the city shall flourish like grass of the earth. His name shall endure forever. His name shall continue as long as the sun, and men shall be blessed in him. All nations shall call him blessed. Blessed be the Lord God, the God of Israel, who's only, who only does wondrous things. And blessed be his glorious name forever, and let the whole earth be filled with his glory. Amen and amen. The prayers of David, the son of Jesse, are ended. We should pray for Christ. We're going to pray for Christ tonight. Let's get into the devotion. This is a large petition. To intercede for a whole city needs a stretch of faith. And there are times when a prayer for one man is enough to stagger us. But how far-reaching was the psalmist's dying intercession? How comprehensive, how sublime. Let the whole earth be filled with his glory. It doth not exempt a single country, however crushed by the foot of superstition. It doth not exclude a single nation, however barbarous. For the cannibal, as well as for the civilized. For all climes and races, this prayer is uttered. The whole circle of the earth it encompasses, and omits no son of Adam. We must be up and doing for our master, or we cannot honestly offer such a prayer. The petition is not asked with a sincere heart unless we endeavor, as God shall help us, to extend the kingdom of our master. Are there not some who neglect both to plead and to labor? Reader, is it your prayer? Turn your eyes to Calvary. Behold the Lord of life nailed to a cross, with a thorn crown about his brow, with bleeding head, and hands and feet. What? Can you look upon this miracle of miracles, the death of the Son of God, without feeling within your bosom a marvelous adoration that language never can express? And when you feel the blood applied to your conscience, and know that he has blotted out your sins, you are not a man unless you start from your knees and cry, let the whole earth be filled with his glory, amen and amen. Can you bow before the crucified in loving homage and not wish to see your monarch master of the world? Out on you. 
if you can pretend to love your prince and desire not to see him, the universal ruler. There's a lot of people in that boat today. Your piety is worthless unless it leads you to wish that the same mercy which has been extended to you may bless the whole world. Lord, it is harvest time. Put in thy sickle and reap. Guys, I have nothing to add to that. That was an incredible devotion. What I would like to add to this is prayer for our Lord and Savior. If you guys would join me, please. Lord Jesus, we pray for your kingdom to come. Father in heaven, we pray that your miracle of miracles, when our Lord rules this earth and peace reigns, truth reigns and justice reigns, we pray for that kingdom. Lord, you have gone out of your way to save us. It, it was love that brought you down from heaven to lay down your glory, to come down and be born as a man, the ultimate act of humility, and to allow yourself to be nailed to a cross, to allow yourself to die for us. They didn't kill you. You allowed your life to be taken. You laid your life down on purpose for a purpose. And that purpose was realized fully and completely for everyone before, during, and after. I still find it amazing that people don't realize that even though your sacrifice came thousands of years after the beginning, it all started at the beginning. It just wasn't fully fulfilled until that time frame. You had already done all those things from the beginning of let there be light and it will continue forever. Lord, we pray for your kingdom. You've saved us. You've, you've awakened us. You've caused us to see. You've opened our eyes, our hearts. And we, we still don't get it. We still misunderstand. We still stumble like we always do. But you never cease to, sh not to, to, to hold back any mercy or grace to us, especially with the world the way it is today. Make no bones about it. If we didn't have mercy and grace, we would have nothing. If we didn't have you, we would have nothing. But Lord, we have you. And this world, even though it is, <laughs> it, it, had a, it has a front row seat to prophecy, and you can take them to the scripture and show them the literal words that say, this nation will do this to this nation, and we see it active on the world stage today when we've never seen it before. When it says the days will be shortened, otherwise the very elect would be deceived. And it's happened. And it continues to get shorter. they got to change all the clocks now. Because we're on a pattern of shorter and shorter days. Our 24-hour our days are not 24 hours anymore. Signs in the sun, moon, and stars. Well, our sun... It's had more activity just about in, ever in recorded history. And it's not even at a solar maximum yet. It's not going to be till 2025. How amazing. A particular set of, series of math works out to that very same year. How also amazing that there's a very specific asteroid with a very specific name due to make an appearance during that same year. Lord, the signs are here. It, it, there's no, there's no denying what's going on. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about what's happening. This is real. It is real. It's active. It's alive. It's here right now. How can anyone say, oh, they've been saying that for thousands of years. There's nothing we have to worry about. Well, the problem is. Your word says that that's exactly what they would say during this time frame. And here we are. Your word says that they would deny. And here we are. Your word says that they would mock and scoff. And here we are. I can keep going. But my brothers and sisters know what your word says. All the things that you said would be are here and they've been here 
Lord, make us to look up. Grab us by the chin and lift our heads up so that we will look up and stop looking at this world. I find myself going through the motions, doing what I have to do in this world today, but it is just motions. It is just life on repeat, waiting for that time. Now, Lord, I am concerned that we're not doing enough. And you know my prayer, it's always my prayer. Am I doing enough? What else can I do? What else should I be doing? Is there anything else we can do? Do we have enough time? I believe there's always time. You can stop time and make enough time. So Lord, if there is anything else each of us individually in our individual lives and ministries should be doing, make us to do that. Make us aware of it. I mean, really open it up to us. I know I'm dense. I don't catch up on hints very well. But I trust you to make sure that I know what the, the truth is. If there are any hearts that are in question, Lord, win them. Go and get them and win them. Get the sheep, collect them, bring them in. If there are any watchmen that need to sound an alarm, Lord, give them the urgency to sound the alarm. If there is any soul that needs to be reached by a word from one of us, Lord, make it known so that we may go reach them. If there is any prayer we have not prayed, make us to pray it. Put those words on our heart. Holy Spirit, help us with the right words. And please make intercession for us on our behalf for those things. Lord, we pray for your kingdom to come. We pray you be blessed above all. We pray you be glorified above all. All the riches are yours. All the love is yours. All the adoration is yours. All the glory and worship is yours. We're just waiting for that day when we get to see it with our eyes. See you in your full glory. See you in your majesty standing on this earth when the whole world sees you. And that time they know without a shadow of a doubt who they're looking at and who they're bending their knee to. Lord, we pray for your kingdom to come. We pray for all of this to be done. For you to come and take back what belongs to you. Take back what you won 2,000 years ago. Take back what's always belonged to you. Save your people. Protect them. Bring them back into the glory they were supposed to attain. They were supposed to be in. Bring your church out into the open so that everyone can see them. Get us locked in. Get us sanctified. Get us strong and solid. Rock solid. Attached to the anchor so that we cannot be moved. And make us bold in your word. Always. Every day for your glory. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for saving us. Thank you for inspiring us. Thank you for teaching us. Thank you for making us to keep going, no matter what. We look forward to the day when we get to see you in your perfection and to see you rule this world as king. Amen. Thank you guys for joining me for evening devotion. I was reading that psalm, and it just hit me. Pray for the Lord. I hope, I, 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 I look forward to the day. I can't even put it in words, really. I look forward to the day when I get to see Israel in her glory she was supposed to have. With Jesus leading them. To see the world like Eden. Like it was supposed to be. To see all things in the glory they were supposed to attain. And soon will. I feel like things are kind of like at a point where we're just kind of like in a waiting. It's almost like waiting, uh, having a layover in, a, in an airport, waiting. Waiting for the plane to arrive. Or the storm to pass. Delayed? Oh no, he's not delayed. He's right on time. I feel like we're just playing out the clock at this point. But... If there's anyone that needs to be reached, let's reach them. It may be a, a sideways word. It may be a, a light mention. It may be a full-on attack of planting seeds. Instead of throwing the seed out, you're just driving into the ground. However, we have to do it. Let us warn and plant seeds as much as we can. 
I've been talking a lot with my wife the last few days ever since my doctor's appointment. That, that day spoke to her. I tried working on a few others. I don't, I don't think... Well, I can't say I don't think because it's just my opinion. I don't think it's working. The Lord does incredible things with very little. So, if it's His will, whatever's said and done is going to work. I just want to make sure that I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. That's my... That's my prayer and that's my question. If I'm not doing what I should be doing, Lord, change me and make me to do that. And if not, make me quiet and wait, patient and resolute, standing firm and tall and looking up and ready, always ready at all times, at every moment, in every season. Because when he comes, it's gonna be quick, it's gonna be fast and everything and I mean everything, is going to change instantaneously. Brothers and sisters, I love you all very much. I'm so glad you all are here going along this ride with me. I'm glad that y'all have been with this channel for a long time. You've helped with this channel. You've preached on this channel. You've shared the truth with others. You've encouraged others, prayed for others, fellowshiped in the comments. has been wonderful. Some of you have even connected off this channel which is great you've been sharing with family and friends you've been sharing on social media we are all part of this together I don't consider this only my ministry because so many of you have been here with me for a long time and you've helped build this to what it is and I'm so very encouraged to have people who believe in the truth I've never met you I don't know you from a hill of beans but in the Holy Spirit I know you guys like we've known each other all our lives and I look forward to the day when we get to meet and stand in glory with him. And I pray that day is not too far off. I pray it's closer than what we think. I pray the time is now. Just like his word says. Just like all the signs are showing us. There are times where I sit and, and for a moment, only a moment, I think, wouldn't it be cool if we had a little more time? And immediately that thought disappears and I think, no, I don't want no more time. Because the more time we have, the worse things are going to get. And more people are going to get hurt and more bad things are going to happen. Nope. The time is now. The time is now. I love you all very much. I bless you all. In Jesus' name, I pray he blesses you richly in all things good, and I will see you guys in the next video.